dire team back. I should have seen that one coming. Radiant team back. Yeah, Cuckoo's are a very good team. Yeah, Priest as well. So, um, you guys might have seen them playing. They played in BTS EU. Uh, they're, no, they're not CIS, I don't believe. Ten seconds. That's right, they kicked out Team Spirit from BTS uh, Europe. Five seconds remaining. So, very good up and time coming team. How many teams signed up this time? Uh, I'm not sure, it was over a thousand, I believe. Swedish and German, thank you for the correct Fire nationalities. Team. But uh, they have some Han players, E-Skilled. You guys might remember Team Coast. He used to be on that team, good player. Um, and then Kezu, from what I understand, was a very intense offlane player, I believe, from, uh, um, whatchamacallit? That, um, Han, that's the one. Here's a new word. Sorry, I didn't play much. Lone Druid is the big hero for Cookies. Uh, I've seen Kezu play it. They, they dominate with it. So, all oh, right, I should change the stream title. Thank you. I'll change that right now as we just get in. Cookies versus... Uh, let's see, find these guys' names. Brigada. Brigada. Update. And now we're in the round of... Alright, I suppose this is still 500. Ten seconds remaining. Jeez, sorry, this bracket page takes forever to load, and you can't, like, you can't quick scroll it. It's so frustrating. Dire team pick. This is still round of 512, so we're still in the same round. Da -da. All right, so there's the invoker. Someone said they didn't ban the invoker. Nice call, good call. And yeah, the win there, I agree. Very solid hero, something they've played again. Um, I'm still looking out for that lone druid. Who won the America's Qualifier? Uh, that was won by uh, Team Freedom up against E Wolves. Radiant team back. Don't worry, guys. We have plenty of games to go around in terms of stake and everybody else. Team Freedom, aka Team IX Mike, aka Team The Stash. Some good Ten stuff. Nice to see them winning. Remaining. Oh, they're going to be banning up the Vengeful Spirit. Back. I'd like to see a little bit of Spirit Breaker play over here. I'm surprised they didn't ban it, actually. I don't know if that's something Kukas like to do, but Spirit Breaker and Invoker is a lovely play. What? This is not a replay. Just so you're aware. Everyone's saying yes to the fact that it's an IX mic team. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining. But either way, uh, yeah, so watch out for your Lone Druid fans. Uh, up against Kukis, what else were they playing? They played some... They played actually extremely well. I was very impressed. I was casting out with Coddle Guy. And they showed up that game, man. Let's see here. I don't believe... Oh, hey, nice. That, that worked. Here, we can bring up their... Their match history for a moment here on the side. Nope, there's a second game. So, or the, or sorry, there's a second qualifier. So the way that it works is that you have that first qualifier, and that's what State got knocked out on, right? Uh, but now it's the second qualifier, so you get another chance. Yeah, it's the, the chat's now pointing out there, so thank you, peeps. All right, so e-skills. There we go. Here we go. So they've been playing quite a bit of this, uh, this mid-invoker, so I'll probably be e-skills picking that up. And there we go. It takes a while to get all this stuff up and running here. Legion they banned the Razor. Okay, so they're going for the Legion Commander. That's something Dying that they have team. yet to pick. This will be their first game at this. Um, the other big heroes they like is the Darks here. I remember their offlane player was really Legion good at it. But this will probably be his hero, the Legion Commander. Uh, they love picking Rubik. Eh, not the best game, though. AA and Night Stalker are not really two of the ideal ones. And Slider as well. You have to be up close. Obviously, Amplify Damage is pretty good for a steal. I'm still looking towards that lone druid. I don't know if they want to get something to pair up with it. Dazzle's already banned out. Ten seconds remaining. They've done a couple death profit games, but obviously it's probably gonna be e-skills mid with the invoker. 
And if we assume this is offlane, exactly. I'm thinking Lone Druid and then... I'm not sure what else they pick to play with their Lone Druid. I don't know if they're... Uh, maybe Lone Druid's enough on his own that you can pick something like a, uh, a Rubik or something like that. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, more of the classic ones would be anything that can give a little bit of a buff, right? Like, Alacrity Lone Druid is so good. This has got to be Lone Druid. One of these two. A Void pick for the Dire. <laughs> Oh, well, they're skipping out on the low druid this game. I'm gonna go for the Juggernaut instead. Oh, but interesting. I guess they're worried about the bear is very susceptible to slaughter. Um, generally, you don't want to go into that with all that minus armor, so. Uh, I'm still down with like a four roll spirit breaker, I think, then. Just start stacking up the duels, you know? Just blink duel, tick down somebody, sun strike as well. Some good stuff. Alright. How oh, good everything's all. Everything looks good here. Well. Either way, thanks for, thanks for hanging out, guys. This has been pretty fun. This is obviously my second day, um, and I'll also be doing coverage in the morning again tomorrow, so don't worry. We'll be following everyone through for the next little while here. Yesterday was extremely fun. I went all the way. I casted for 13 hours in total, I believe, by Nandy yesterday. Um, did the entirety of the EU. Took a breather for a supper and stuff like that, and came back and did the final with uh, with Mott in the Americas and stuff for Team Freedom, so that was really fun over on Moonduck. That was good stuff. Lurka! Shout out to Lurka, dear. Did KP, KP did, in fact, win, Themis. So we'll be... Don't worry, we'll be following them later on. They're on a break right now. You know, they got to wait for the game to start and everything. So we're in um, another round of 512 game. We're doing Kukus. Praise King! Radiant team back. This is your up-and-coming team right here, these boys. Kukus. It's actually just cookies, by the way. You're supposed to say cookies, but... <laughs> I, I do, in fact, speak English. That is my, my language. I believe... I mean, I don't know. I assume OD Pixel's going to be following State Gaming the entirety of the day, if you guys want to check him out. Um, I generally just going to leave that to him, because... You know, I know that's his big thing. He wants to shit on Cinderin, so... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Rubik loves his pa or Pablo loves his Rubik like so much, like so much. It's it's by far the biggest hero they pick for him. Uh, the only other one that it could be uh, would be like the Spirit Breaker, honestly, and maybe maybe Shadow Shaman. Eh, it's okay. But yeah, I agree, hundred percent. He just loves his Rubik. Radiant team pick. Od is playing Zeus Jungle right now. Well, that's life. Speak Canadian, you goof. Keeper of the light. Keeper of the light. What is this? That's all right. That's a little bit of sustain. Um, helps out with some of the mana struggles. Juggernaut faces in lane. They run out. Pablo is legit as fuck. Pablo is an extremely good player. He was very impressive at BTS EU. <laughs> speak Canadian. I can speak like a like a newfie. That's uh, that's who we make fun of over on the East Coast. It's the people who live up in Newfoundland. Five seconds remaining. Call Coddle guy? Yeah, that's right. I'll call, I'll call him on Skype, guys. <laughs> Dakota! Uh, Caught him in the night soccer. True. Always, always a little bit of a concern. It's also not like a forced mana burn, right? It's kind of annoying up against the Wraith King. Oh, well, you're quite welcome, Eloquent Gaming. I am glad I saved your day. Morphling. Alright, and then we'll just pick Morphling. <laughs> So, what is this? Like a Morphling Mint? What's the logic to this? So, okay, if you're 
dueled. Oh, man. See, there's so many damn interactions in this game. Let's see here. Am I correct in saying that you should be able to morph during duel? I believe you can, right? Because it should be okay. Five seconds remaining. Because obviously when you're disabled, you can morph and all that fun stuff. But I guess we're going to find out. And this is how you find out in your actions. I've never been dueled as a morphling, so what can you do? Not exactly the most common hero these days. Especially since the rework. Oh my god, what is this? It's like some, oh, it's like a Chinese New Year Wraith King. Some scary stuff. I, I assume it's support. Yeah, yeah, maybe you guys, yeah. Maybe it's a uh, Core Night Soccer support morphling ultimate cheese. That was a pretty clowny phase. No, I, I assume this will be more than likely mid morphling. This could be like an offlane duo, then you just send Wraith King A top. And it'll be Ash farming up here. E skill is going to be on his invoker as per usual. It's going to be Kezu on the offlane. Legion commander for Team Cookies. Ba, 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 ba. Right. Oh, can I do another MMR check? Oh, good, good thinking. Good call. Here comes the tide. Oh, 5,400 party MMR. All right, that's respectable. That's respectable. Nothing there. Nothing there, but he's a stand-in, so he's on a team. <laughs> uh, nothing there. He likes playing custom games. He's been winning a lot of ranked games lately. Let's see if, like, he beat somebody. All right, nobody we know. Oh, that's one we just checked. And the Ruka Pirog. Smurf. One game, Earth Spirit, loss. Sold all his items. Classy. Classy kind of a guy. Alright. Yeah, Kezu got uh, his 7k delay. I think he got it earlier in the year, too, but... Cookie's image and base looks funny. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good stuff right there. All right, well, for those of you who are just joining us, it is Cookie's first game of the day, second qualifier. And uh, they're up against Team Bragada. I don't know why I'm saying it like they're Italian or something like that, which is probably awful thing that's actually Italian here, I'm sure. When E-Skills was 7K. Oh, we got an E-Skills sub in the house. E-Skills is legit. You guys should check out his stream, by the way. In fact, hold on, I'm going to link it. He's a really cool dude. If you guys like want to get better at Dota 2, that guy actually legit streams and talks about his game, and he's extremely good at Dota 2. So, go go give that a follow. He's a cool dude. The battle begins. And uh, well, Dire they get top rune, Raining get bottom rune, typical stuff. And we'll see how this goes. How much did he... Oh, he isn't actually taking a skill. He didn't do, like, the in-base morph. That's a little unusual. I guess he's just, like, really concerned about a gank. But how are you going to CS here? He went with, like, this maximum attempt here. Like, branch, fairy fire, even um, the rape band. By the way, I'm a little worried about top lane. Oh, wow, good thing I showed up. <laughs> I, I just, judging by his positioning, it just seemed like, oh, he can't be dead, because, like, he's running back and forth in circles. Oh, Bond Lames, he's fine. Okay, so they lose the Keep It Light early on, so this is the whole plan. It's like a dual off lane where they'll spam out in overwhelming odds. But this try line's fairly, fairly scary. Now, it doesn't mean the Night Soccer's not bottom, which is something we've seen a little bit lately. Oh, you're welcome, Vivorn. I, I'm more than happy to cast. How about the cookies, boys? 
again, a little bit more harass. Probably just gonna look. This is actually gonna be pretty good. You can use your press the attack, right? Because you get the what is it, 30, 40, 50, 60. It's a lot of HP regen, and you can spam it pretty well. Once you get the second point, of course, um, on top of the chakra, chakra magic. That's the skill. Whew. These heroes you don't see for a while, you know. It's uh, they start slipping the tongue. Bottom lane. This is not the hero you want to trade hits with, my friend. What are you doing? No, 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 stop! Stop, Slider, stop! <laughs> You've made a terrible mistake, Slider! <laughs> don't trade with a Bane! Don't do it! <laughs> just, he's always gonna win! That brain sap, man, you just cannot win! Oh well. <laughs> ah, that's some good shit right there. <laughs> You want to see an ancient? Oh yeah, the Medusa ancient trick. Some tiny stuff. Oh hey, Rossingtons. Oh, I'm I do it for the people. Don't worry, man. All right, this guy almost died mid. Oh 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 oh! <laughs> oh, he skills. Oh, he didn't. He didn't think he'd come back. Look at that. look at this uh, maximum efficiency. He's morphing agility while he tangos to try and get the most HP he can. God, these other lanes, are, uh, everything's so close to dying. So I, I can't leave this morphing alone because he gets right click twice and he dies. Look, look at that! Alright, you really... Like, I know he's going to wait for him when the last projectile comes. Alright, he's going to he's gonna sun strike back there and right click at the same time. You guys ready for this? It's actually going to be the most meta play of all time. Ah, oh, damn it. That would have been so good. It's okay guys, 14 more seconds and he'll try it again. It'll be great. I heard the sound, I thought it was actually happening. I was so excited. Alright, then the void as well. This is gonna be close. One more stun. They're going in. Oh damn it, he got him. Did he I swear to god, if he stuns right. Alright, it was just right clicks. Who cares? He did eventually miss that morphling kill. But how did he kill him? I mean it must have been just right clicks, right? There's no other explanation because Sunstrike wasn't on cooldown. And I wonder if he waveformed and just messed it up. Either way. <laughs> You'd report Morphling. He's just like, oh, is he gonna get the Regus? Oh, uh, just not enough damage. Oh, he's going, he's going in! He's going in, boys! Adapt to strike, tower damage! Oh, he skills no! Wrong way, brain up! 4 HP! Alright. Easy gaming. Oh, come on. The panic? What, what was the panic fiery fiery? Come on, e-skills. Don't do that to me. Don't be like that. Alright. Going for the side pull here from Kezu. A little bit late. Sports probably would have stopped him anyway. <laughs> he tried. He tried, guys. That's a mess. Alright, Ash has got these phase boots. 600 HP. Oh, there's no boots on the slider! There's no boots! I mean... Alright. I don't know. I think the spin should have came out there. But you're forgiven. You're forgiven this time, Ash. Oh, come in. Oh, Ash DC'd. <laughs> oh, the raking actually pops! <laughs> Question mark? Oh, the Orb of Venom, you're right. Okay, my bad. I wasn't thinking of that. Good thinking, good thinking. It's tactical pause. Hee <laughs> hee. Tactical DC, guys. He kicked his uh, router. You know, the classic. What's going on up here, anyway? Just They're, they're still just chilling. This little support rotation. Look at them, they're just like so scared back behind their tower, but little do they know. Supports are just in mid lane and this guy's just chilling up here. Ah, well, we got a little bit of a break here. How uh, how are you guys doing? You guys, you guys having a good morning so far? My day's been pretty good. I made tea, I haven't had tea in 
I don't know, forever. I think I put too much of the tea stuff in the water. It's very strong. Plus, it's not like black tea. It's like kind of this fruity stuff. I don't know. Not a big fan. But I don't have coffee. I forgot I had to drink something. Probably just drink more water, I guess. Where's my... Where's my... I can say hi, guys. Where's my thing? Hello! Welcome. Welcome to the day. You're enjoying you're enjoying your morning tea. Oh hi, I live failed. Okay. Malpax, what games are you casting today? Oh, thanks for the follow, by the way. C2012. Uh, I'm casting I wanna follow Cookies Cookies. I always call them cookies, but it is pronounced cookies, I ask them. It's just cookies. Um I uh, probably I don't know. Probably take us around the pond, you know, we'll see like KP and stuff. Um For now, this is Cookies versus Brigada. Hey guys, and little hey guys. You made fettuccine alfredo. It's a bit bland. Oh, I lived off fettuccine alfredo in college, and all I would buy was this shitty like pasta sauce, and then I would buy one red pepper and I'd like dice it up and throw it in. It was like the worst pasta, but it was good. Oh, wh when does Mott come on? I'm pretty sure Mott's asleep. Oh, hey Phage. <laughs> it's a party. Phage came for the eSkills Dota. I, I casted this for you, Phage. Don't think I didn't. I already linked eSkills Twitch too. I told everybody that he's a really good player, likes to talk about his play, so check him out. KP. This is them. Durka got on my case yesterday, guys. It's not Kai P, it's KP. This is the round of 512. So, the second round today. Either way, game is setting. Turn the cam off. We're, uh, it was nice. No, lovely seeing you folks, though. It was really great. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure about that either. No invoker ban. Alright, the go call is there. And uh, we're ready to go. So enjoy your tea, enjoy your coffee, enjoy your fettuccine alfredo. And let's enjoy some more Dota. Oh yeah, that's right, they're ganking the mid lane. E-Skills was... Believe it or not, he was ready to ghost walk. I don't know. He had a while to think about what he was going to do. And it looks like the correct decision was made. No detection brought for their little gank in the mid. A little bit unusual there, but can't do so. Here's the nightmare. They'll be into the spin. They're gonna try and properly set up. Oh, that was a uh, sensor. I tried to juke it out, but it'll go down. I believe that was Kezu pinging. So it looks like he's trying to point out that they are in fact mid. And uh, Curry will go back. And yeah, he's trying to run around to the side. Oh, it's going bottom now. Well, with the support's mid. Guess who rotates up here? Oh, I don't know about this. Level 2 Slardar? This is a wishful gank. And they saw the supports rotating back, too. So, this little ward over here. And things will simmer down a bit. They'll get a ward in behind. This is a nice ward for your um, safe laner, right? So, this is set up here on the hill. You can see when people are keeping this tower. Damn it. And manned up. They manned up! Either way, the whole point of this means that Bane can leave this lane now if he wants to. As the mid dies. Tch, looks like there's a pretty epic battle, too. Oh! <laughs> so much gold! Alright, this is Midas gaming for this AA after that. There's like no choice. Yeah, Kezu's playing the Legion Commander. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Poor E skills. That's some good stuff right there. Oh, Ash. He's waiting for that first uh, Omni Slash usage. And so, with a level 2 Slardar. Oh, he's level 3 now. My, my, my apologies. One of these times, we're just going to look away from this lane. He'll just be dead. That's just how it goes. Right, what what is this morphling doing anyway? Like I'm just gonna look at the net worth because uh, I don't think Last Hits is really doing it justice. Because as you can see, he's about half the net worth of the Invoker. Times are tough in the morphling household. You know, he's he's not coming home with the nice cheese or you know the nice bread. This is like that white, you know, big old processed junk. Because he's a very poor morphling. And uh, that'll be your Midas on the Invoker is. Oh, they got the tower bottom. 
Kesu still chilling up top. Not quite six himself, but there's the Nightmare. Sunstrike, nicely timed up here. Don't even need the Omni Slash, which, oh, he might have committed now, but he'll get on to at least two. Won't be able to get silence off in time, at least not to save his slider had he needed it, and goes down to the spin. So, life's good, life's good. Yeah, I agree. I, I actually hate... I, I don't want to be in the lobbies for these games, <laughs> so I can talk to Jet. There was a pro game, AA had 7k gold at the end. Oh, 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 oh! It actually misses! The stun, it saved him! A little bit off the mark there. Not, uh, not quite getting their big old coordination plays down here. Wombo combo. How's Kezu doing? It's been pretty quiet up top. Like, obviously his farm's good. He's way above the side arc because he's at the bottom and this is their off laner. Alright, well, they'll get the mid ward. This is a victory. Just the tip. <laughs> Alright, well, you ask how Kezu's doing. We'll see. He wants his first duel. No, I'm not going to go in. I thought with the movement speed boost, they think about it. They have a nightmare set up they want it. Of course, they do have to worry about the ultimate. and Unlike they're going to be able to get a uh, a second kill on him. Mid lane. Bro, he's going in. He's got almost 100 damage. Or Venom slow. Wrong way, though. Stiff style. Choosing the correct path. And Kesu's coming down. See if there's anything he can do. They're going to be able to track him up. East kills. Oh, oh, which one's the real invoker? Mine's blown. Sunstrike. Got him. Easy game. There should be like a, uh... Kesu viewers must be half my viewers. Yeah, probably. It's okay, I'll take it. Bum, 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 bum. Look, look at this poor slider, man. It's so scary. He needs to wait for the creep wave before he can come up because the Omni Slash threat. You can finally zone him out, but so much damage taking the tower, and it even forces a Morphling TP. Like, there's no way you get anything off of this. So, we'll just continue farming. Can I show the net worth graph? Oh, I would love to show the net worth graph. It's uh, looking about 6k in terms of the lead here for the Radiant side. Time to spam all packs with follows. Yes, please. Uh, much appreciated. Helps me get quality options permanently, which is a pretty big deal. I get uh, people who can't watch too well in like, Australia and stuff, of course. Connect. Alright, well, they've already taken the bottom tier one. It looks like the push is coming to the mid lane. And they have plenty of it with the Keeper of the Light, the Healing Ward, and of course these Forge Spirits. Keeper of the Light's a really fun hero when you're winning, you know? What cookies do I prefer? Mm. I like Fudgios. Those things are so good, but eventually I get tired of Fudgios. I never get tired of Oreos, so, but they're not quite as tasty, you know. They're more of a classic cookie. All right, well, there's the Fiend's grip. That's into death number one. And with the armlet, though, he'll be a little hard, tougher to bring down with no stuns. Yeah, he'll back away. Ash. Oh, oh, Morphling. All right, this Morphling's making questionable decisions. He also has no ulti. <laughs> Why wouldn't you take one point in your ulti? That seems so worth it if you're going to be so YOLO. Oh well. They, they tried to make a nightmare play, but he ends up taking it so late that he just kills himself too. <laughs> Alright, well, down we will go. Fudgy, what? Fudgios? You guys don't have Fudgios? That's too bad. The bone president. I like that term. Let's uh, let's have a little peek at some items here. Biggest item on the uh, dire side, certainly this armlet. It's pretty much the only item they purchased, honestly. Mind it's will be the next big item on their team if they ever get it. Sorry to brush something off my mic. 
And on the rating side, though, you know, Midas, Bots, Yasha, yada, yada, yada. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Sun's trying to get a brain sap. <laughs> One point away from a full exhort. It's insane. What a hero. Alright, well. I don't really know what the combat mechanism is here. I don't think there really is one. Like, what do you have? They lost versus KP yesterday, right? Who, who did this? Cookie, cookies? Uh, I don't think they did. That would have been a good game. KP knocked out steak yesterday. That's who you're talking about. Okay, nice eliminate. They're going to get a dual win on top of that Morphling very easily. Nice soccer next to fall. Three down. They did lose East Coast. So, they can be happy with that. Alright, good stun, good stun. Not that there was really anything to cancel that TP anyway, but it was flashy. Oh, Cookie's lost a Necroman stack? Really? Oh, 20 centimeters plus. Okay. Thanks for the info, guys. I followed Stark Gaming all yesterday. It was actually pretty cool. We had Stark's coach um, for one of the casts, which was really interesting. And then we also had the manager of uh, Mama's Voice for one of their games, too. So it was kind of fun. Just talking to them. I think... I honestly think either KP or Cookies have the best chance to win today. I actually think they're an extremely good team. I, I don't know how they lost this. I know you guys are saying it was the um, that Greek stack, or the Necroman stack, so... Hopefully they'll play a little bit better today, because after seeing their series up against Team Spirit, I, I think they're extremely strong. I think KP probably have an edge on them, but... From what I've seen, at least they seem more prone to tilt, but we'll find out. Quick ulti on Pablo! Immediately brought down. Now Kezu, maybe a little bit of trouble. Sticking around a bit too long. I have a pretty natural caster voice. Oh, thank you. That certainly should make it easier. Stake do well, but they seem to lack the cohesion. Yeah, um, I only caught one of their games. Okay, I can see what you mean. Maybe something that'll be better over time. I know they've been practicing and scrimming a lot. Ah, the steak puns. Oh, yeah. This poor, this poor slider, man. Second lowest in the net worth. Uh, at this point, it just feels like they just need to, you know, cross the T's and dot the I's. Start willing with the towers. Kids are just sitting in the back line here with his blink dagger, hoping someone will come to. Are you actually. You know, this isn't happening. Alright, I think they just got vision to him. Yeah, they know. So come, there's a stun. Gonna try and stop this duel from finishing, and it looks like they will probably. Oh! <laughs> they did get Legion. Morphing does survive. Wait for me on the last uh, second. And the dust. They're trying to make sure these skills won't get away. In comes Pablo, but he just kind of walks into them. Uh-oh. Problem's happening. Ash, he does get the omni Slash kill, though. And Morphin will bring down East Hills on the back line. Gucci, he'll go down. No ulti available. Lost the mana. Mistakes were made. And this Morphin also out of mana here. It looks like Ash will just be able to run him down with the Illuminate coming through. Maybe the Morphin Strike can't keep him up and alive. Has the back away from the sun. He will have to end his chase. So close. Alright, that's going to be a big win. 1100 gold, 1600, hang the side of the dire. Cookies are crumbling. They have been dipped in the milk of the Morphling. Yeah, it's the same teams both times. Ugh. 
Slex has yet to convince me, I'll say that much. I don't know, his puck play seemed pretty insane the game I saw. I was very impressed. Alright, well, here's another duel. I was, I was actually stretching and my camera just happened to be on the slider, so that was ex <laughs> extremely likely. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, but I'm not too concerned. Yeah, they drop a couple kills, but this, this happens every single one of these games. You know? You're just playing up really aggressive, you're trying to take these towers. Like, they lose one or two heroes, but every time they're getting an objective. Slowly but surely. Okay, it looks all but over. Yeah, seriously, just kill this tower. It's good, it was annoying me. Looks like it'll be... I assume that's in Y from the Morphling and not a Halberd? That'd be pretty clowny. <laughs> Maybe it's Silver Edge, guys. Silver Edge Morphling. <laughs> ah. So what, what do we got here? I think I'm gonna close this out. You know, 2k gold for Kezu. He can look for... I mean, sometimes we'll see drums or something like that, but he saved up enough now that he could just be going for his own SNY if he wants. A little bit of tank here, a little bit of damage. A couple different options here. I'm, I'm gonna assume it's not the Agnum Scepter. It's probably the, the worst Agnum Scepter I've seen ever in Dota. It's so situational. Everyone's here. They can probably get this kill. It's unlike he'll get away. Good blank. Press attack. They have nothing else. They keep getting the vision, but he walks right away. Nice. Nicely done. So, they'll get Roshan, and then the immediate fiends grip here on top of the morphing. He's morphing the whole time, though. Gonna be dropping all the wombo combos on top of him. Again, no ulti, though, so no escape. And dead. Ah, thanks, Rottenham. Such a hero. The Canadian. Alright, lines are being drawn here by the Morphling. I'm not sure what they stand for, but they're being drawn. Sorry, I, I had to sneeze. It was a good sneeze, though. You know how you have like a bad sneeze sometimes? That was, that was a good one. That was, that was good stuff. Good sneeze, and that is the most exciting thing that's happened in the past little while, because this game is looking relatively over. But, cookies, they're, they're taking their time. I have seen some teams fail pushes, and then the game lasts an extra 25 minutes, so I can understand their hesitation. because he's pushing top. He'll have his bots up in 10 more seconds. He can join the battle down bottom if that's where he wants to go. Pablo, he's trying to set something else up here. Just be a nightmare for now, though. Yeah, China Qualzo tonight. There he goes. It'll be China Day 2 will be tonight. Done. Mule's trying to save himself. Oh, who, who needs a save? Just sun strike. Not quite enough damage though. Pablo coming. He's got the brain tap though. Oh, it's close. Invoker though. Finishes him off there. And now they get the morphling. Morphing all that strength again though. And no spells, of course, left here for East Coast after dumping everything on that slider. Mule's also in cooldown. They're still pushing bot at the same time. We don't want to miss this cut. They're going to be able to get it though. Nightmare. Going to land the ice blast on a just East Kills. Trying to finish off this morphing. They can't quite get it. They did bring down the slider. They're trying to get the right thing at the same time. They will. And he's coming back with the ulti. They get another dual victory. 58 damage now stacks on top of Kezu. And he's back and away. See if they can get themselves a stun. He's got that buyback on the slider. They'll get Steph style. Ash, ready? He's got spin in two. Not going to be able to dodge off that stun. Kezu, he's back in the fray. Trying to get the right click down. Armlet, not enough to keep him up in the live spin. Now coming through on top of the slider. Definitely blast as well. Keep him slowed up there for more spin damage. Night Stalker going down. Thanks for that nightmare. And that will be the Aegis here for your Juggernaut. 
Oh, Morphling comes in. Finally scaling up the uh, illusion. So I'll put down the Observer Ward. Give them an idea of what's in the back lines here. Probably will tank the Ice Blast just for fun. <laughs> oh no, guys. <laughs> Bracket spoiled. So, one set of racks down, two set of racks down. Oh, come on, come on. Deny it. <laughs> Someone should have denied it just for clowns. Oh, pardon me. Oh, this T is not agreeing with me. I've made mistakes. This is why I drink coffee, guys. Alright, well, there's a BKB on the Wraith King, so he can uh, be gold and glowing when he dies. That should be exciting. So, let's set up the uh, the illusion. Yeah, just give him the creep of the aura, that's all it's. Oh, they actually thought it was the real one. <laughs> that's kind of funny. In the end, what does it really matter? Omni Slash ripping on through. There goes the real Wraith King. Looked just like the illusion in terms of dying. I suppose they're equally as tanky. Okay, it's over. GG is called. We did it. So let's see. Let's see how.